Hey, my name is James Mulvaney. In this mini series, we are looking at software for producing, editing, and publishing podcasts. And in this first video out of this mini series, we're going to be specifically looking at software to record and edit your podcast. So here are five pieces of software or tools to record and edit your podcast. Number one, Audacity. Compatible with Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Audacity is a great podcast recording software, especially if you're just getting started and it's easy to use. It comes with pre-installed sound effects and supports all the main file formats. So you can export as WAV, MP3, etc. If you're looking for a great basic program to record and edit your audio, then this is it. The great thing is Audacity is completely free and you can download it at audacityteam.org. Number two, GarageBand. Compatible with Mac OS. If you've got an Apple device, such as a MacBook or an iMac, then you've got access to GarageBand. It comes preloaded and ready to go on any Mac and also on iPad and iPhone, making it really easy to get started. The product itself lets you record and edit audio, create samples, and then easily transfer projects between multiple Apple devices, which can be really useful if you're recording on the go. And it also comes complete with its own database of royalty-free loops, which you can then add straight into your audio. The software is free and it comes as standard on Mac devices. Number three, Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition is one of the best podcast recording software options available, and it's been used for years in the radio industry. In fact, when I first started out in radio, when I was 16 years old, it was called Cool Edit Pro, and it's not even changed much since those days. Put a comment below if you remember Cool Edit Pro. Not only will you be able to record, edit, and integrate your video, but you'll also be able to add in sound effects and mix your audio. It's one of the more expensive options, but it's definitely worth it if you're looking for the whole package. And plans start from around $20 or £20 per month. Number four, Heidenberg Journalist Pro, and it's compatible with Windows and Mac OS. Heidenberg Journalist Pro is one of the most expensive podcast recording software available, but it leads the way in terms of sound quality. It's specifically designed with podcasters in mind and comes with split track recording, editing tools and an auto leveler, which will immediately adjust your audio files after recording. If you've got the budget to spare, it's definitely one to consider. The price is a one off payment of $375 or £299 and there's also monthly and annual plans available. Number five, Logic Pro, compatible with Mac OS. Logic Pro is a digital audio workstation. It's considered a professional piece of software. It's used by a lot of audio music producers and that kind of thing. And it's considered one up from GarageBand. So you'll be able to get a lot more creative with your sound recording, editing, and overall production. And Logic Pro is quite often our go-to tool when we're working with professional clients for Q Podcast, which is our production company. The price is a one-off payment of $199.99 or £174.99. So there we have it, five tools to record and edit your podcast, whether you're using PC or Mac. Let me know in the comments which tool you prefer. Some of them are free, some of them are paid for. And of course, they all have their pros and cons. I'm curious to know what you use to record and edit your podcast. As I say, let me know in the comments. Stay tuned for the next video in this mini series and hit that subscribe button to be notified when the video is out because we're going to be looking at which tools you can use to record remote interviews for your podcast. Hey, before you go, let's connect on LinkedIn. I'm always posting interesting content like this over on my LinkedIn channel, and it'd be cool to hang out. So go to jamesm.com slash connect, click on LinkedIn, send me a connection request. Once we're connected, send me a message, say you came over from this video, and I'll send you some cool things for free. Sound fair? Well, head to jamesm.com slash connect and connect with me on LinkedIn, and I'll see you over there.